Welcome back, Panda Gang. True Start Location, Japan. Last episode, we expanded here into the northeast part of Asia. Korea is really losing here, man. They lost the city to the Barbarians. Straight raised in Busan is flipping in 15 turns. I'm in the pole position to take that. Jinju as well. Loyalty is not that hot. It's um, it's 100% right now, but only rising at 0.1 per turn, and that's with a governor. So as Shizuoka continues to spool up its growth, maybe we can flip this city through loyalty. Also, at the end of the last episode, we finally got access to the seas. So we're going to look to create some awesome new settles around the ocean this game. Next science up, I'm going to go with square rigging. I don't really have a good path to getting the Eureka here, killing a unit with musketmen. But when I get this, I'll get the frigate. I'll be able to upgrade the squad dry rooms. And also my embarked units will get one movement speed. So the slow settler with two movement and we'll then have three, which is going to be huge. Okay, looks like we got some coastline here. Continue to explore some archipelago. We'll keep these guys together, protect the settlers and do some exploring as well. Don't know if there's any barbs infesting these waters. As for Settler, we'll just keep moving down in this southeastwardly direction. Got our last two quadra rooms made here, Tokyo. Very nice, so we can swap out our cards. I think I want to build out our land army, so I'm going to slap in a Goge. We just finished up our, what's that, not a barracks, an encampment here in Shizuoka. So maybe I'll go ahead and buy out the barracks and then start pumping out some melee units here. As you can see, Jinju, it's just flipping the rebellion here. Like, there's really no loyalty in either direction. And if this city does go rogue, I want to be able to slide in and capture it. I don't want to give China a chance to put their loyalty on it and grab Jinju. Um, I've got this encampment here. I can shoot with the catapult right onto the city and hopefully capture it while it's a free city. It looks like our galley has finally found New Zealand here. Obviously, they got some sheep. So that's awesome. Speaking of catapults, I don't actually have the tech yet. I need to get five turns, but also build ancient walls as a Eureka. So I'm just going to slide this in for three, and I'll get back on the swordsman. I really want Osaka to actually build this campus, but we're still a population away. So swapped over the wheat tile. Hopefully they can grow quickly. In the meantime, I'll pump out another scout. This one can go east. Tokyo has been making builders for a while, so I'll have them concentrate on themselves, get the library going. The city is also lacking some improvements, so we get a builder going here. If you just look at the tiles they're working, like, this one is not awesome. One food, two production, especially when I, when I want to build out this city. So if I get some farms on these two tiles, I might get the, the growth back up. Scoping out more New Zealand down here. And no cities, no loyalty pressure. I gotta send a settler down here ASAP. I guess this would be the closest one, so I'll just go tell them, hey, come and bark down here, man. As for my other settler, I think I'll send them down to one of these islands here. Kyoto down its campus. I'm kind of tempted to put in a granary, but for now we'll just go for library. It's seven turns, it'll be pretty quick. That builder we bought, let's get the farms going. Increase this pop growing speed. It's a great spot to stage some kind of invasion of more of Indonesia or Australia. Not only do you have some place here for your troops to heal, but the lo loyalty pressure is also important. Finally got our builder down here to repair this stuff. Dang, mountain exploding. And engineering's complete with that completion of the walls. And man, I'm glad I have these walls right now. Look at all these Koreans just hanging out on my border. They did denounce me. They're not at war with anyone else, so who knows, I could be a target for them. They don't have that much military strength, but 250, I'm not super scared. Especially because the next thing I'm building is gonna be a ground army <laughs> for exactly them. So we'll be fine. As for the loyalty here in Jinju, it's actually starting to drop now at about one per turn. So, slow and steady. We'll keep building up our population around here, put the pressure on them. For tax, we'll get back to square rigging. Another one that I do want though is construction, just so I can get the lumber mill. And along the way, we'll pick up archery. That'll make our walls do more damage and horsemen, which really doesn't do anything. But this lumber mill, if you just look at how many trees we have, where it's like our only source of production, like we got one here for Osaka. I do so much for their production. And a city like Kyoto, if you've got some, uh, some of those improvements down on these trees, my gosh, these tiles would just be insane. We've got another trader opened up. I'm gonna wait to buy one though, one of our newly settled cities. Lighthouse is complete here in Sendai, and the next thing I wanna build is a campus next to these reefs. There's a trader exploring these nice, friendly, free city, free city man over here. Risky business. Oh man, free is out here. 
Is that really a surprise war? Going right for my builder with one unit. One charge left. Come on, guys. Oh, man, and the free city's turning on me as well. I guess all we can really do is back this towards one up to Kyoto and tell them to hang tight. Um, as for Shizuoka, the archery, that's going to upgrade the damage our walls does. And at the same time, I should buy out some kind of decent unit. So I think I'm going to go for a catapult, perfect, in the encampment. And then I'm going to get a... Oh no, I can't actually get a heavy chariot in the city. That's not great. I'll wait one turn and then get an archer in the city next turn. I'm going to bring back one of these quadrirons to Tokyo. Hopefully there's no funny business from the Korean capital here in the waters, but you can't trust that really. Oh, luckily we just got this Bastion's card. Could have used this before actually shooting off my arrows, but I guess I might as well slot that in instead of a gauge. That'll help with uh, my district defenses here. Got that governor promo as well. We'll just slap that in Pangala to get some more culture. Luckily finished the defensive tactics just in time. Plugged in that Bastion's card. Uh, next up though, let's go with Feudalism, just 11 turns away, and then we'll get the Samurai and upgrade those Swordsmen. Ooh, they're going for it. Luckily I got walls. Man, not just that, but the Free City now going after Kyoto. Luckily, Busan's gonna flip in just two turns. Builder can finally fix up all the damage from that Volcanic Eruption. Wonderful. And now we gotta get to work on these units here. I don't know what this Crossbowman's doing, but we're gonna take that out. And start focusing down some of these man-at-arms, too, with our shots. Buying an archer in Shizuoka. Next turn, they'll be able to take out some more of these units. And we've got our scout, finally. I wanted to go to the north, but I see there's a barbarian encampment now. Um, I guess we can go and try and pick up this tribal village to the northeast. And is this Hawaii here? I think it might be. Beautiful place. Absolute paradise. All right, well, we finished archery. Next options are machinery. Get crossbowmen or continue to square rigging for the frigate. I do want to get the frigate, not just because of that um, embarked units, which I talked about earlier, but also we can bombard the Korean cities with that. But that requires niter, which we're a few more techs off of as well. So I think I'll go that route, try and get some niter. It would be nice to upgrade the crossbowmen, but I think my army is going to be mostly samurais. Library completed in Kyoto. Hopefully we don't get taken over by these free city coursers in the next turn, but we're going to go with granary just because housing is going to be an issue soon. Let's see what the Koreans have to do this turn. Going after that encampment still, it's in a great spot. They can't really come onto the city until that's done. Still doing a whole lot of nothing here. We've got our archer finally, we can use them to shoot at the crossbowman. That crossbowman is definitely not getting away. And we're gonna go and try to take out this man at arms as well. Now, swordsman will come out next turn. Then we can actually go on the offensive a little bit. I'm gonna start sending more quadrirons back as well. I want to use them in the assault on Yongju and potentially do some defense as well. Tokyo, what do you need? I see you're already working this tile. Why don't we throw a mine on there and make it a little bit more productive? We're not too far off too of uh, securing apprenticeship. That's gonna add an extra production to that mine improvement too. Another quadra room, let's send you back. And we'll just use the galleys to keep exploring out here. They're a little bit stronger anyways, in case they can't come into a barbarian. By the way, somehow our trader survived that free city that just went straight for our city of Kyoto instead. Let's see if they can survive the Koreans. And Busan belongs to me. Thank goodness, man. Thank goodness. I already got city walls so I can do some damage. Just in case someone comes after me like a nasty Korean. Keep that city. Wonderful. And so far, there's not been really many choices in the city. It's literally just got walls. And its tiles are pretty weak. The Koreans should have just settled up closer to Kyoto where I did. But I'm going to swap out this first tile. That way they'll have at least one sweet tile. Actually, two of these tiles. They'll have two awesome tiles to work for those yields. Wow. First thing to build here is going to be a monument so we can get these borders expanding naturally. It's a border city, so... I mean, it's a fringe city on our empire, so... We want to get those borders expanding as quickly as possible. Back in Shizuoka. Shoot with the archer. City. All pretty standard stuff here. I'm gonna have the swordsmen fortify. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure this trader is gonna walk on top of the man at arms next turn. Uh, and this catapult, oh, I can actually finish off the man at arms. Beautiful. I'm gonna have them start shooting at the city of Dinju soon, though. Take out those walls. And, oh, loyalty falling at 1.6 now. That's actually pretty quick. Once this loyalty gets 75 as well, they're gonna start getting debuffs in the city to growth, production, and that city's gonna become a whole lot less useful. Shizoko built the swordsman. Let's just build another one. Um, eight turns, we're gonna get feudalism too, so we're looking good. Not a lot more going on from the Koreans. 
Not going after my swordsman, thank goodness. Oh, hello, Georgia. Oh my goodness, another eruption. Four tiles destroyed. Dude, uh, that sucks. My camp has been absolutely flattened. We're starting to turn our attention to the offensive here. Let's soften up that, soften up that city with the catapult. Just use our units wherever we can. Archer's done, city attack. And then we've also got the swordsman. Do I want to go all the way? Let's go for it. Right, awesome. Yeah, I was hoping it wouldn't actually finish off the man-at-arms because then it'd be in range of the city defenses. So that worked out perfectly. I'm going to use this range strike to knock them right out. Right on, Meta City State. I'm honestly not that surprised I'm the first to meet these guys. Middle of nowhere, right? I'm going to have to buy a builder here in Tokyo to repair this destruction. I just don't see myself having time to actually build a builder. Let alone slot in cards to make it, like, super optimal. Busan's got a trader. We'll send them to Suzuka. That city's just so OP with these boosts for food through production. Kyoto's got some issues, man. Big problems here with some barbarians. Uh, luckily, we'll get feudalism in a couple turns, and maybe they'll be able to defend the city a little bit better. Greenery's finished, though. And just in light of this massive barb issue, I'm just going to go with ancient walls. I can see this being quite an issue for some time. This is probably the northernmost city we'll have for a while. Builder taking a look at the devastation. We have to completely rebuild the plantation here. This looks burnt down, but I don't even see a mine on this tile. But I guess there are some pretty huge yields, so we can't complain too much, can we? Just gonna park this quadra in there. There's not much they can do to attack it, and this gives me some vision. Oh, another recon unit. That's awesome. Just unlimited scouts. I love it. Korea left with only 96 offensive strength. I don't think they can do much more to us, man. I might as well send one of these galleys back as well. We've got another quadra ram just coming in here. Perfect time of coming back from the seas. We'll park you in Tokyo, and you can start taking shots at their naval troops. Settler on a pretty decent city here. Now, if you look at all these scattered islands, there's not that many great options, but this one here I scoped out isn't bad because look, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three tiles in each direction. There'll actually be three land tiles on top of the on top of the city here. So we might be able to build some districts. I'm even gonna buy up this turtle tile so I can get turtles. I can get science, a little bit more production. Like this tile is okay, but it's just food, just food. That's always a thing that um, these sea cities struggle with. As for production, I'm not gonna mess around going with city buildings that I can just buy out with money. I'm gonna go harbor uh, because, you know, it's pretty hard to build districts and build anything in these sea cities. So we'll do that first and we can buy other things with money if we want to. Catapult's got a promotion. We're gonna go with combat when defending and then we'll get plus 10 combat strength versus district defenses when we finally get that as well. Archer, I'm going to move onto these furs. Long-term plan is just get them here on these hill tiles. That way they've got some kind of defense and they can shoot down on incoming units. Construction's finished. We can finally upgrade all those wood tiles. Um, and next obvious one, I guess, would be to go for the niter. And then we can hop in and get our frigates. Uh-oh. Not the, not the greatest last tile to explore. Man-at-arms and the scout. Let's hope they survive. And here comes the Siege of the Barbs. My god. Okay, well, there goes my scout. And the city's in trouble, man. Hopefully, they can get those walls up in two turns, but it's not looking that good. I'll send this um, swordsman out to fight. Might as well do a little bit of damage to the man at arms. They can heal up. It's all good. But I am kind of worried about all those barbs building up back there. I might actually send this swordsman as well, just to, just to provide some backup, because Korea, they're not doing a whole lot. They've got this guy just sitting in the city, and he's got to heal from that tornado, and I can just shoot at them in the meantime. We got plenty of ranged units. Tokyo on the sea, already 10 housing. So when we get this harbor out here, it's gonna just explode that housing number with the harbor plus lighthouse, and this will be a beast city. Oh, Kyoto, please survive. Come on, man, what's going on here? Most I can do maybe is move this swordsman out, buy myself a new swordsman in the city. What? I don't have enough iron? I better find someone with iron. Here we go. There we go. Iron secured. Buy myself a new swordsman in the city. Gets the defense back up. And just cross your fingers. I don't raise it this turn, man. Holy. Who are they going for? Oh my goodness. The sacrifice of that warrior. So clutch. So dang clutch. Let's see if we can turn the tables here. One unit almost dead. This unit falling. All right. I think we might survive. I'm going to swap out these boats. So the hurt ones in the city and they can both do damage. Nice, double shot. Two promotions too. Straight up building the warrior in these spots. Waiting on that niter man and the steel. We'll get some better melee units. Now Kurt wants to make peace. I'm just not down with that, man. Not for that. 
I think I can take Jinju. I think I can take Yongju as well. So we're going to go all the way. The Renaissance era. Let's see how this goes for us. Okay, I want to see what the other civilizations are up to, though. Looking at us, we're in a normal age. And most importantly, Korea. Dark age again. Wow, these guys just can't get a break. Jinju, rebellion in 10 turns. Man, they don't even need me <laughs> to get rid of their cities. Okay. All right, this one's a little bit tough. You get one era score for a district or three every time you discover a continent or natural wonder. I am gonna send my guys out on the sea, so let's do this. Hopefully we can discover a lot of stuff this era. Upgrading both these quadri rings to get the district defense bonus. Once we get these guys upgraded to frigates, they're gonna be doing so much damage. And we've got the upgrade for units in the next era. That's awesome. I'm also gonna plug in this builder's getting two extra actions because that's super strong. Not only does that mean that the builders will get more, that means we'll have to build less builders, which means they'll cost less in the future too. So it compounds on itself. A warrior, what am I gonna do with this guy? I'm just gonna have him sit here in the city, man. Don't go out there, you're just gonna die. We did get feudalism though, and we have the option to upgrade a samurai now for 150 gold. However, I wanna wait till I get mercenaries here and get 50% gold discount on all unit upgrades. Let's plug that in, this will only take two turns. Military training, one turn. Whoa, we've had some massive in improvements in culture recently. I guess let's say more warriors, we'll just upgrade them later. It's easy enough. Busan finished their monuments. What do I want out of these guys next? Maybe we'll have you start contributing to our global economy with a campus. They've got some really good, well, really bad tiles here to the north, which means they'll be great for putting down districts because they're not gonna do much else, right? I'm slowly gonna move this swordsman over to the deer. Keep them out of the city range, but just have them close as possible so they can swing down here, start pillaging these campuses when we get the chance. Finally got our settler all the way down to New Zealand. Question is where do you settle? Now I don't necessarily want to destroy these sheep out here, especially because that's so culturally significant to New Zealand, but I do want to be able to reach this reef tile out here. Uh, that's just like a ton of food and production that I'd be missing out on otherwise. So one, two, three tiles over. If I settled on this one one tile here, I just wouldn't be able to reach it. So down we go. First huge city off of the mainland. I mean, our last one over here, I wouldn't necessarily call this a huge city. It's all right, but down here in New Zealand, we're gonna get a lot of stuff done. First stop, plugging in the monument. We'll get these sheep upgraded, whales, some luxury resources, um, and we've got room for some other cities as well. This little island here is too many tiles away from either of the two larger. So eventually we'll probably have a city here, but the next one will go on this smaller island to the north. Next up. For Kyoto, it's kind of hard to say. I think I want some culture, so let's plug in the theater square here. As for sending envoys, I put in the diplomatic league card. They'll be your first envoys. We'll send one to Hattusa. And Jerusalem, do I really care about you? Probably not, so we'll just stick with Hattusa there. I'm gonna buy another builder in Shizuoka, just to upgrade the north here. I see the furs was somehow destroyed maybe by that tornado that we saw. Um, and we can do some stuff with these trees over here. Maybe get a mine down and do other things to the north too. I see this builder is going to go pick up those furs, but they only got one charge left. Research complete, we've got the niter. Awesome, let's see where that is. First off though, let's get this warrior out of here. They're going to die. What do we have? Okay, well that's actually somewhat relevant to us. We can't settle on Madagascar, but we might be able to get a settle on one of these islands and that'll just give us a loyalty foothold like I discussed earlier with uh, near Australia. We'll search again, just one. Two over here, super close to Okayama. That's fantastic. We're gonna pick that up. No, no, no. And that's it, okay. Okayama it is. I actually just sent this builder off to go pick up the tribal village, but I'm gonna have them turn around, go onto this little island here, and we'll buy up the tiles and secure that niter. Sweet. Finally got some sheep. First patch of the, first pasture of the game. Now that we've got our niter, I do want to get apprenticeship. That's only two turns away. Um, other option here is square rigging. It's hard to say exactly which one we want to go for. Um, I don't see any city that needs to build an industrial zone right now, so I guess we'll just keep on going towards the frigate unit. Shizoka's done a great job pumping out <laughs> warriors, not even swordsmen. We'll be able to upgrade those pretty soon, so let's put in, an, put in the armory here, and we'll just work on making even better military units. Korea wants to make peace again, and no, dude, I'm just going to take all of your stuff. Where is this quadri ring going, dude? Come on, come back. Mercenaries, that means 50% gold discount on unit upgrades. I'm gonna plug that in right now. Fantastic, and then we can actually get to work on upgrading our guys. Starting off from, with a warrior going all the way to the samurai, only 125 gold. 
get the error score from constructing our unique unit. And now our force is looking a lot stronger. Getting our first lumber mill down doesn't seem like a whole lot. I mean, we get the Eureka, but this is going to be huge for us. Like this city now has got a five production tile when it's pretty much just surrounded by sea. There's some potential for some of those here. And also over here, Osaka can uh, pick up this relatively crappy tile and turn that into a massive production beast. And over here to the north in Kyoto, these already huge yield tiles, five, six, plus the gold, six, uh, and another six and a five. When you upgrade these and get two more production on top of that, it's gonna be a total game changer. Beautiful natural wonder, and what's that give us? Plus three error score. Man, we might hit the golden age this time. Archers got themselves a promotion. I'm gonna choose to go with Garrison, making them a little bit stronger inside the city, making a few big upgrades here. Go with the lumber mill. It's gonna knock down the time on producing the campus. And down here, getting that sweet nighter. We're gonna start accumulating two per turn. And the Koreans are gonna be really upset when these quadri rams on their borders get two range and gunpowder to shoot. Speaking of upset, <laughs> Korea, you really look pretty mad, bro. Uh, they wanna make some peace, not gonna happen. They just lost their second last city here, Jinju. It's now a free city. Oh, hello. Get out of my way, Musa. Rebellion in 12 turns. I'm not sure exactly who is going to be taking that. Uh, up to the north here, Kyoto, we've got a bit of a barbarian issue, but I mean, what else is new? Looks like our campus is going to get stomped out by the barbarian encampment that spawned right next to it. I do have a quadrarium here to do a little bit of damage and try and fight them off, but it's not going to do much. As for the free city itself, it looks like I've got a slight edge over China when it comes to loyalty, but I don't think I'm going to risk it. Um, sadly, the walls have already, <laughs> they've come back to 100% because it's a new free city. But this catapult is pretty close to getting its next promotion, and I'm gonna upgrade it right now to a trebuchet. So we'll be able to steamroll these walls quite quickly. Free technology. I got a whole cast of tech out of that. What an awesome Getty Hut. Damn. So today's video has gone super terribly for the Koreans. They're down to just their capital now. Uh, the city of Jinju flipped due to loyalty. It's now free, and I'm gonna end up taking that from them. I don't feel bad at all because they declared war on me. And the north, Kyoto barely survived a barbarian invasion, and it looks like the barbarian issues won't stop for a while. I do have a quadri ram over here dealing with the the new encampment on the east, and we've got an archer in the city, so they'll be okay. And finally, we finally got some pretty good settles down here. Got some stuff in New Zealand, and another settle here in the Indonesian archipelago, which secured me some niter. So thank goodness I got the city down here. Otherwise, we wouldn't have any niter. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe so I can afford Windows 11. It's going to be great. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.